Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. I get many questions from listeners asking how many times they can take the PE exam in one year. And in this video, I will provide you with the answer and explain the process of retaking the NCAAS PE exam. This episode is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. If you're getting ready for the PE exam, or have been struggling to pass it, you may be wondering how many times are you allowed to take it? For most computer-based PE exams, NCAAS allows you to take the exam once within each three-month time window and no more than three times every 12 months. You will also need to reach out to your state board to ask how many times they will approve you to sit for the exam. Remember, just because NCAAS rules allow you to sit for the exam, you still need approval from your specific state. According to the NCAAS exam guide, the three month testing windows are as follows. NCAAS computer-based exams are offered in testing windows throughout the year during the following months. January to March, April to June, July to September, and October to December. Example of attempt limitations. For example, let's say it's January and Tom wants to take the PE exam in April. He then studies and takes the exam in early April, but ends up failing the exam, or I like to say not passing. Tom cannot take the PE exam again until July at the earliest because April is in the second of the four windows during which you can only take the PE exam once. If he decides to attempt the PE again in the same year, he can do so once between July and September or once between October and December. Now, let's assume that Tom is having a really hard time and he fails the PE exam again in July and on another attempt in October. This means that he can't attempt the PE exam again until April of next year because he's failed it three times within that 12 month period. Please remember that some licensing boards have a more restrictive policy, so it is important that you check with your state licensing board. You can do that by visiting ncws.org forward slash boards to determine the policy of the licensing board you selected during the registration process. All that being said, I want to reinforce, as I have on most of our videos, the professional engineering license is the most important credential you can obtain in your career as an engineering professional. Please do not give up on achieving it if you don't pass the exam once, twice, or even three times. Stay motivated and seek whatever help necessary to achieve your goal of becoming a licensed professional engineer. We have many videos on this channel that can help you do just that. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or maybe a problem that you need solved. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.